Here are the top 12 things to do in Cartagena, Colombia. Be sure to stay until the end because we'll reveal an attraction most tourists miss. 1. Take a romantic horse-drawn carriage ride. Cartagena offers romantic charms and a unique way for couples who are looking for a fun night out. Horse-drawn carriage tours include a tour of the city's narrow streets and picturesque plazas. You will see the city from a different angle as you enjoy the ride, particularly in the evening when the sun sets. The horse-drawn carriages in Cartagena are typically decorated in colorful and traditional styles, and many of the carriage drivers are knowledgeable about the city's history and culture. This means that not only will you be able to enjoy a romantic and relaxing ride through the city, but you'll also be able to learn more about Cartagena and its rich history. With the gentle clip-clop of the horse's hooves and the gentle sway of the carriage, you and your partner will be able to enjoy a truly intimate and romantic experience. It's important to book a horse early since the best ones get snapped up fast. Also, you can include dinner to spruce up the carriage ride. 2. Wander the streets and plazas of Hetzamani. Hetzamani is among the top neighborhoods to visit in Cartagena. The streets and plazas of Hetzamani in Cartagena are known for their vibrant, lively atmosphere and colorful colonial-style buildings. Located just outside the city's historic walled district, Hetzamani is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. The neighborhood is home to a number of vibrant plazas, including Plaza de la Trinidad and Plaza de la Sangre. These plazas are often filled with street vendors, musicians, and performers, making them a great place to people watch and soak up the local culture. Hetzamani is also home to a number of galleries, studios, and other venues that feature local art and artists. Tour operators offer art-focused tours of the neighborhood, allowing visitors to explore Hetzamani's vibrant art scene and learn more about the area's history and culture. 3. Take a selfie at Cartagena's Cathedral. You can't say you've been to Cartagena without visiting the awe-inspiring Cathedral of Cartagena de Indias. Apart from its uplifting spiritual existence, this old, historical cathedral is an architectural masterpiece. It is a must-visit site for travelers who want a glimpse into the city's rich cultural heritage. The cathedral is known for its Gothic-style architecture and beautiful stained-glass windows. If you're lucky, you can witness how the Baroque yellow-white-pink dome changes its color after dark. The cathedral is also home to a number of important artworks and artifacts, including an ornate gilded altarpiece and a stunning collection of religious paintings. Visiting the cathedral is a great way to learn more about Cartagena's history and culture, and the building itself is a truly impressive sight to behold. Whether you're interested in history, architecture, or art, the Cathedral of Cartagena is a must-see attraction for any visitor to the city. 4. Navigate the tunnels of Castillo San Felipe de Barajas. If you have been thinking of exploring a fortress, here is your chance for an adventure. A short walk from Hetzamani stands the Castillo San Felipe de Barajas. This extensive colonial fortification is a 350-year-old historical landmark shaping Cartagena's cityscape. One of the best things about the tunnels of Castillo San Felipe de Barajas is their historical significance. The tunnels were an integral part of the fortress's defense system and were used to move troops and supplies throughout the fortress during times of war. They are a great example of the ingenuity and engineering skills of the Spanish colonists who built the fortress. In addition to their historical significance, the tunnels of Castillo San Felipe are also a lot of fun to explore. They are dark and narrow, and they wind their way through the fortress's walls and foundations. As you make your way through the tunnels, you'll be able to imagine what it would have been like to be a soldier defending the fortress against attack. 5. Lays at the beaches of Playa Blanca Playa Blanca is a stunning stretch of white sand beach that is perfect for lazing in the sun, swimming in the crystal clear waters, and enjoying the laid-back Caribbean atmosphere. One of the best things about Playa Blanca is its pristine, unspoiled beauty. The beach is surrounded by lush, tropical vegetation, and the water is crystal clear and free from pollution. This makes it a great place to swim and relax, and you can often spot a wide range of marine life, from colorful fish to turtles and even dolphins. Playa Blanca is also a popular destination for water sports enthusiasts. The beach is well known for its strong winds and waves, which make it a great spot for windsurfing, kiteboarding, and other activities. The food is also not to forget. You can try some fresh mojara and other snacks from local vendors. 
Playa Blanca beaches can be overcrowded with limited infrastructure over the weekends, holidays, and peak tourist seasons, so you should consider visiting on the weekdays. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, click the link in the description below. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. 6. Buy fruit from the Palenqueras Palenqueras are a group of local women with colorful traditional African dresses selling tropical fruit. The Palenqueras, who are known for carrying large baskets of fruit on their heads, have become a symbol of the city of Cartagena and its unique cultural blend. They are often featured in souvenirs and other works of art throughout Colombia. These women can be found throughout the city, particularly in the historic walled city and the streets and plazas of Hetzamani. Buying fruit from the Palenqueras is not only a great way to sample some of the delicious tropical fruits that are grown in the region, but it's also a wonderful opportunity to support local vendors and the local economy. You can also take photos with the Palenqueras because they don't mind it at all. They are dressed colorfully, have beautiful smiles, and wear stunning jewelry, so spare a few change for tips. 7. Day Trip to Magic Mud Volcano Located just outside of the city of El Totumo is a unique and fascinating natural attraction that offers a one-of-a-kind experience for visitors. El Totumo is a small crater lake filled with warm, therapeutic mud. The mud is said to have healing properties, and many people believe that it can help to ease a range of conditions, from arthritis to skin conditions. Visitors to El Totumo can immerse themselves in the warm, soothing mud, allowing it to work its magic on their skin and muscles. Besides its therapeutic properties, El Totumo is also a lot of fun. The mud is shallow enough that you can easily stand in it, and many people enjoy splashing around and playing in the mud. Some visitors even opt to receive a mud massage from one of the local women who work at the lake. Whether you're interested in the mud's healing properties or just want to have some fun and enjoy a new experience, El Totumo is a must-see attraction for any visitor to Cartagena. 8. Boat Tour Around Rosario Islands Located just off the coast of Cartagena, the Rosario Islands are a group of more than 30 small islands that are known for their pristine, unspoiled beauty. A boat tour is the perfect way to explore the islands and take in their breathtaking scenery. The islands are surrounded by shallow, turquoise waters that are perfect for swimming, snorkeling, and other water activities. You'll be able to see a wide range of marine life, from colorful fish to turtles, dolphins, and even sharks. Many boat tours also include stops at one or more of the island's beautiful beaches where you can relax and soak up the sun. The Rosario Islands are also home to a number of historical and cultural attractions. For example, Isla del Pirata is home to an old fort that was built by the Spanish in the 16th century. Isla Cholón is home to a number of indigenous communities, and you'll be able to learn about their history and culture on a boat tour. 9. Visit the Palace of the Inquisition The Palace of the Inquisition is a fascinating and important historic site that offers a unique glimpse into the city's past. The palace was built in the 17th century and served as the headquarters of the Spanish Inquisition in Cartagena. The building is now a museum that showcases the history of the Inquisition and its impact on the city and its people. The museum features a number of interesting exhibits, including documents, artifacts, and artwork that provide insight into the Inquisition and its operations. The palace's exterior is adorned with intricate carvings, ornate balconies, and a stunning Baroque-style facade. The interior of the building is just as impressive, with high ceilings, grand staircases, and beautiful frescoes and murals. The Palace of Inquisition is a fantastic place to check up if you are in Cartagena. You will not only learn the entire historic picture after visiting this palace, but also connect with the city's colonial era. 10. Have a local meal at Mercado Basurto Mercado Basurto is a vibrant and bustling market that offers a wide range of delicious local foods and ingredients. One of the best things about Mercado Basurto is the sheer variety of foods and flavors on offer. You'll be able to try a wide range of local dishes, including traditional Colombian favorites like arepas, empanadas, and ceviche. 
The market is also a great place to try some of the region's unique tropical fruits, such as guava, mango, and papaya. Mercado Basurto is a great place to experience the vibrant culture and atmosphere of Cartagena. The market is filled with the sights, sounds, and smells of the city, and you'll be able to watch vendors and shoppers going about their business as you enjoy your meal. The market is also a popular gathering place for locals, and you'll be able to interact with them and learn more about the people of Cartagena as you explore the market. 11. Take a day trip to San Basilio de Palenque Located just outside of the city, San Basilio de Palenque is a unique and fascinating destination that offers a glimpse into the region's rich cultural heritage. San Basilio de Palenque was the first free town of escaped slaves in the Americas. Founded in the early 17th century, the town was a refuge for runaway slaves who had managed to escape from the plantations of the region. Today, the town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is home to a vibrant and thriving Afro-Colombian community. A day trip to San Basilio de Palenque is a wonderful way to learn more about the town's rich history and culture. You'll be able to visit the town's historic center, where you'll find a number of interesting museums and cultural centers that showcase the town's heritage and traditions. You'll also be able to explore the town's streets and squares, where you'll find a lively and vibrant atmosphere, with vendors selling traditional crafts, foods, and other items. In addition to its cultural and historical significance, San Basilio de Palenque is also a beautiful and picturesque town. The town is surrounded by lush, tropical vegetation, and its streets and squares are filled with colorful buildings and vibrant street life. Many visitors to the town are drawn to its peaceful and laid-back atmosphere, which provides a welcome contrast to the hustle and bustle of Cartagena. Number 12. Sunset Drinks at Café del Mar the last stop to include in your bucket list is watching the sunset in a relaxing spot. Probably the best thing about Café Del Mar is its location. The café is situated on the city walls, offering panoramic views of the city and the sea. As the sun sets over the water, the views from Café Del Mar are truly breathtaking, and many people come to the café just to watch the sunset. Besides its stunning location, Café Del Mar also offers a wide range of drinks and snacks. Whether you're looking for a place to relax and unwind after a day of sightseeing, or just want to enjoy a beautiful sunset, Café Del Mar is a must-visit stop in Cartagena. Click here for more tips while traveling in Colombia.